What is up, what is up everybody? This is your Grey Jedi Sin coming at you with some Summoner's War game info and general let's help the people kind of type shit. So, how we doing everybody? How we doing? How we doing? Let me know exactly how y'all doing. I'd love to know. I want to make sure that everybody's doing great. So, what's going on today? We got this wonderful, fantastic event that Come to Us does once a month. First Saturday of the month, I do believe. It's first Saturday of the month. Where, uh... Oh, is it not in here anymore? Hmm. Weird. Oh, well, it's up here. Or, maybe it's not. But, uh... Yeah, we are going into explanations about runing. What are runes? Runes are everything in this game. Without a doubt. There, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You could have nat 2s and nat 3s with fantastic runes and beat out nat, a team of nat 5s with crap runes. Runes are legitimately everything, everything in this game. Forgive my anguish. So, for the purpose of this video, I have taken all of my monsters, all of them, and removed the runes on everyone. Why have I done this? Because we're going to go into some in-depth explanations on every monster, every type of monster, etc, 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 and what they deserve to be ruined with. As I say deserve, these mon monsters, everyone's built for specific purposes, and everyone deserves their runes according to that purpose. So we're going to start with Tashar. Granted, I already know what runes are going up. Tashar, I have plus 13 to 15 of them already. And I don't have to really think twice about doing so. But, let's take a different look at the difference. Based on what I have. I've got an attack percent rune. i got an attack rune. It's HP and crit rate. Crit damage defense, HP. Accuracy, HP, resistance, crit rate damage, or crit rate, crit damage, speed, HP, and crit rate. Normally, a Tashar is ruined Rage Blade, but say you're not at the point this that most that a lot of the other players are at. You're like this account. This one's fairly new. This is only like a few months old, and the best you can work with is Fatal. Fatal still gives that plus 35% attack. Why is that important? It just is. Having fatal runes on your monsters is going to exponentially increase your attack. Whether you can, whether you have a plus 40% crit damage or you've got a plus 35% attack, they're not too far off of each other and if you've got better fatal runes, you just use them. Now, Starting with the 6th slot, we've got this rune here, I, I required, it's a 5 star attack, plus 8, you know, it's got defense and accuracy. Do those work with Tashar? He's an attack type monster. N yes and no. Does he have any skills that need accuracy? No. There's certain questions you have to ask yourself about each monster, each individual one, as to which runes you're going to put on them. So let's look at his skills. Attacks the enemy with mysterious energy and stuns them for one turn with an 18% chance. Considering Tashar is a nat 5 and harder to skill up with an 18% chance, do we really want to focus real hardcore on that accuracy? No. Not really. Let's see, look at this. Explodes compressed energy and lightning flicks damage. The more HP the target, or targeted enemy currently has, the larger the damage becomes doesn't require accuracy. That's entirely based on the opponent's HP. Attacks all enemies with a violent storm becomes instantly reusable if the enemy dies. Hmm. Seems like we really want Tishar to deal a hell of a lot of damage, don't, doesn't it? So, well, we're going to go back to looking at our rings. Back to the second fail run. It's an attack plus 37% 5 star. It's got HP percent, defense, a flat attack stat, and resistance. Still not quite what we're looking for, but it's a five star failure. It, it's an option. Now I come over here to this one. HP plus six percent. HP is always a good stat. Crit rate plus nine percent. Crit damage plus thirteen percent. 
with a little bit of accuracy, you know? It's not a bad stat to have on most of the monsters, but this crit rate and crit damage on an attack percent room for an attack type monster you want to deal a hell of a lot of damage with, that's absolutely perfect. So we're going to engrave this. Alright, so we've got one out of six done. And so on this, your attack types, especially ones that have a skill reset, there aren't too many of them, but there, there are a good few that people do have. Let's see, our one slots, attack plus seven, accuracy plus six, five star, it, those, those are stats that we look for, that attack percent especially, crit rate, attack percent, this would be a good choice. Speed, speed's always one of your first concerns. Attack percent, HP percent. All right, we could re we could roll that and see where it goes. HP plus nine, eight, attack plus twelve, but that's a four star rune. That's not one we're too high strong about. Now this one, HP percent thir plus thirteen percent, attack plus seven percent, speed plus ten percent, and crit damage plus five percent. It's got four out of the five stats that you want to look for on an attack monster. Possibly six, if you count defense. It's got HP, it's got attack, it's got speed, and crit damage. Now, one of the big focuses on Tashara's crit rate and crit damage with attack percent. It, fi it fits two of those three, and it's got speed. This is, this is the kind of rune that you would want on Tashar, but let's see if it, just to see crit rate and crit damage. It's got a little flat speed and a little bit of accuracy. Now this one doesn't have the attack percent. So since we're focusing on fatal, we want to focus more on attack percent than crit damage. So I'm going to pick this room over this one. And we're going to engrave that. Now our two slot. Actually, you want to focus your two, four, and six first. So we'll do two, then we'll do the four slot. Because two, four, and six are the big ones. If one, three, and five are good, great. If they're not good, you can manage. Because those are all flat stats. Yes, the substats are important on those three, but they're not as important as two, four, six. When you look at building a monster, you have to look at two, four, and six slot. So we've got speed. Speed's always good, but we have a flat defense, an accuracy, and a flat crit rate that we can't power up. Worst comes to worst, we would use that room. This one's got crit rate and HP. This is a little bit better. It's got all is all percentage. It's got the crit rate that we need, because Tashar needs to crit. And it's got HP, which everything needs each HP. We got attack plus 31%. We got speed, crit rate, and crit damage. It's a flat defense stat, but it's got three out of the five debatably six stats that we're looking for. It's actually got four of the, the stats that we're looking for, but it's four star. This isn't a terrible room for a four star with the speed, crit rate, and crit damage, but we can do better. This one, obviously, this is the room that was on there. We've got speed, crit rate, and crit damage on an attack percent five star room. The speed is a big thing on Tashar, on anything, because you want to go first. You want to try and attack first and you want to deal a lot of damage. So we've got this one, it's a flat HP stat, flat defense stat that basically makes it null and void for your main damage dealer. Tashar basically is my main damage dealer for a lot of things, like like Giants B10 on this account. I wouldn't be able to do Giants B10 without Tashar in under five minutes. This one, we've got speed, all right. Speed plus 23, we've got a flat attack base, so we wouldn't even have to worry about re-rolling a flat attack stat. We've got a defense percent and an HP percent. Now, those are those are two very important things but it's got an attack plus 12% and resistance plus 7%. Two good stats, but damage dealers are typically built with attack, crit, damage, attack. So we want to try and get an attack stat over a speed stat, 
unless it's something like the rock chausses that we'll go over in probably next. So we're going to throw that on there. I'm going to throw that back on there. Now let's look at the four, stat, four spot, slot runs. If you had a defense that has nothing to do with the shard, we don't need a defense run. I actually don't know why I have a defense fatal run, so I'm going to sell that. I have no idea why I kept that in the first place. We've got attack plus 37%. Alright, we've got speed, crit rate, and accuracy. It's got somewhat... It's, it, the speed could be better. But we've got 4% crit rate, 19% accuracy, and 7% HP. On an attack percent. Now that's not too bad of a burn. That's actually one I would use on Tashar. Because of the crit rate, the speed, the HP, and the attack percent. Four out of the, the five things. Now, this... This is an attack percent burn. We got speed, crit rate, accuracy, resistance. All right, th those are all pretty nice, except for the accuracy. That you know, if that were an attack, per not an attack percent. If that were a crit damage percent, and we could reroll it higher, that'd be great. This is also a four star burn though, so we're, we want to try and shoot for five or six stars. This it's a crit damage burn. Oh my god, a crit damage burn. What? Not important. Let me tell you why. The attack is flat. There's an attack per percent, yes, but there's a flat attack and a flat HP. Two out of the stats are flat that don't you don't want to be flat. You don't want your HP, your attack, your defense. You don't want any of those flat stats on your subs unless by some odd miracle you can break a 700 HP reroll flat stat. That's the only one you might consider keeping. So, since we don't have anything really amazing to fill that two slot, what else can we use for Tushar? We can use energy. Tankiness is always good for two for two slots. We've got blade runes, we've got guard runes, we've got some focus runes. Focus isn't really that good for Tushar. Again, we don't need that accuracy for the first skill. We've got Revenge. Let's see. So, let's take a look at the Revenge runes. We've got a crit damage. It's got accuracy and HP percents. Flat defense stat. We don't want it. That, that can easily go on something else. We have a four star rune with crit damage, speed, and attack percent. Those are the stats that we're looking for. So that is, that's another possibility. We could use this four star rune. But, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other stuff. Let's say we want to build a little bit more of a tanky Tushar. So we've got this crit damage, plus 65%. It's actually a pretty good burn, because we've got the crit rate 8%, you know. It could be better. Not Speed, plus 9. HP, plus 650. We've got that massive HP, flat stat. Accuracy, plus 5%. Hmm. Can we do any better than that? Defense, HP, no, no, HP, crit damage. That's a five star one with a flat defense and an HP percent. That's that's not even as good as the, the other crit damage room. So, we got a crit rate plus 12. Let's see, we've got an attack percent, crit rate, not quite. It's not quite what we're looking for. And attack percent. We want to try and shoot for a crit damage, but as you can see, the crit rate, crit damage, those are two stats that we're looking for. Now this, a crit damage with a flat defense and attack. Still not quite there. This one's got a defense percent and a flat attack stat. So we're just not hitting the money on that one. So... What we're gonna do is let's, we'll get to Char a little bit tankier with that HP percent. Because tankiness on a Tushar is still always a good thing. Now let's, we got five and three to take a look at. So we need to find something to match that three, that two slot burn. 
and I go with this, we got attack and crit damage. We could power that up. Let's see which what it rerolls on. It'd either go pretty high on attack or pretty high on crit damage. Crit damage, HP, and crit rate. Ooh, that looks a little delicious to me. That could be that could power up to be a really strong rate. Speed, crit damage, and crit rate. Another good one. Attack and HP. And a six star. Yeah, defense percent, resistance percent, and a flat attack. Not quite there. HP, accuracy, defense, that's more of a support type room. Let's come over here to the threes and take a look at what we got. We got resistance and we got speed. Not bad, but for giants we don't really need resistance. HP and defense, not again, that's more of a support type room. Speed, accuracy, defense, and crit damage. Two of those stats are, again, accuracy and defense are more focused towards support type monsters. HP, defense, accuracy, crit rate, defense style, support type, accuracy, resistance, that's a support type, accuracy, crit damage, speed, and crit rate. If that would have been a crit damage or a crit rate, 18%, I'd jump on that immediately. Defense, crit damage... We we don't have quite have enough crit rate for that. Um, let's see, resistance, speed, crit damage, more of a support type room. Speed, crit rate, HP, accuracy, and resistance, all percent except for the speed. That's still pretty damn nice. But because of that speed right there, I think. Uh, it's enough for sure on the t on the one, three, and five. Let's go take a look at the fatal three and fives. Got a crit rate and speed. All right, speed and accuracy, but we can do better than accuracy. HP, accuracy, speed. That's a support type burn. HP, defense per and defense presents with crit damage. Hmm. Now we can think about it, but it's more of a uh, support style. This, almost 500 HP, crit rate plus 10%, crit damage plus 10%, and an accuracy reroll. Out of all of the runes that we've looked at, 10% crit rate and crit damage so far is the best one that we found. Accuracy, defense, speed, that's a support stat. Crit rate, resistance, flat HP, it's okay, and that's more of a support thing. So, thinking I'm gonna throw that crit rate and crit damage on there. Bam, bam. So let's look at where we're at right now. All right, our HP is a little over 10, 10,000. Our attacks, 2,600. That's pretty, that's not bad, that's not too shabby. Defense is over 600. Speed's 147? Yeah, 147, my map one, that's right. That's not bad for an attack type. We want to try and shoot for over a 50% crit rate. Because Tashar's leader skill, if we come look at the leader skill, increases crit rate by 33%. That's going to be an, at least an 83% crit rate if we, can, if we use him as a leader, and also if we can get it at least 50%. So, now we've got that 5 slot to worry about. We've got this, it's got a 3% crit rate, 13% HP, 14% accuracy. That's totally usable, but we had one rune in here that kind of excelled. Now, it would probably be this one. So it's got attack percent and crit damage percent. Uh, but the, it's at one, so let's re-roll it a few times. Let's re-roll it probably to plus six and see where it wants to go. And see if it can replace one of our runes. Alright, so we got a plus 14% attack. That's pretty, that's a pretty nice jump there. What can we get to next? 
And this is all up to RNGs as to what your stats reroll to. Crit damage plus 10%. Alright, I'm liking this more and more. It, it had fair, it had decent rerolls. Not great. I mean, the, the crit damage could have rerolled up to 13-14 as well, but it could also be worse and only gone up 1%. I'm going to plus 9 it just to see what happens. And HP plus 5%. Alright, so we've got attack, crit damage, and HP on a 6 star HP run. I'd say that's a pretty darn good rate. So, let's give it one more shot, see if we can give it, get it up to 12. No, probably not. I didn't want to power up too much. But this was the room that was on there. HP plus 13, crit rate plus 3, defense plus 5, but that's a really tempting room to take. 15, 30, 14, 40, so we're losing a little bit of attack, we're losing 8% HP for more attack damage. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw this on there. Alright, so let's see what we're looking at here. We've got a 47% crit rate, 158% crit damage, 15% accuracy, doesn't really matter, 147 speed, 6, uh, 662 defense, not too bad for giants, 20, 2800 attack damage. And 13,000 HP. Now, with this rune powered up a little bit more, at least to like plus 12, that attack might get, or that HP might get up over 15,000, which is where I like to keep my bare minimum for Giants B10, just because of the crystals alone. So let's see. I got 466,000 mana. I just went through powering up a lot of runes that I had. So let's see if we can take it up to the next level. Hmm. Cross our fingers for RNGs is to actually like us for a change and give us this plus 12 rune. Because <laughs> we've already jumped 200 HP. Which means based on our other HP percents we've probably jumped a good few hundred more. I just got off work, so I'm relaxing and having a drink and calming down from all the stupid things that I have to deal with on a daily basis. Meanwhile, playing on my main account. I decided to... Ooh, that defense flat stat, though. That's kind of a smack in the face. But, 13,497. That's actually decent enough for dragons, given this crit damage. <laughs> that, that's actually, that's a pretty strong amount of crit damage for 2800 attack damage. Alright, so next, we're gonna go, next we'll do, we'll just go through my giant's comp. So the next one we're gonna do the bread and butter of dungeons. We're gonna go with Veramos. Now he's starting off with 25% accuracy, 50% crit, 15% crit rate, 100 speed. He starts off pretty good, especially that defense stat. Oh, that defense stat. 758. Whew. For a fusible monster, I don't know how much better you can get with that. So typically he's ruined violent. Now, I know I don't have good enough violent runes to put on Veramos to compensate for the speed that I that is needed for him. So that is something that most players would want to check. Check your violent runes, see if you can get up over 180 speed. You can get over 200, that's even better. But 180 speed is kind of like the minimum you want to go with on someone you're using in GB10 or DB10. 
So we're following the same concept. This is a more. Let's look at his skills. Attacks magical powers with continuous damage with 50% chance increases according to attack speed. Okay, so we need speed. Speed, speed, speed. And attacks all enemies, stuns them with 30% chance. Damage is proportionate to max HP. So we want speed, we want HP. As, and as much of it as possible. Again, why, usually why Swift is better on him. Especially when you're just getting started on it. So, I've got a plethora of runes to throw on him. We're looking for H speed, HP, HP. With as many speed stats as we can get. None of these... HP, need HP percent, HP percent. Nice, so this one. Speed, resistance, defense, and attack percent. Mediocre. Accuracy, attack, percent, crit rate, and speed. Another mediocre run for him. Crit rate, HP, crit damage, resistance. Not, still not quite what we're looking for. Actually, let's start with the two slots. Speed with attack percent, crit damage percent, de flat defense attack. We can do better. Resistance, crit rate, defense, crit damage. So, so. Crit damage, crit rate, accuracy, and resistance with an HP percent base. I'm actually liking that one. HP percent, defense percent, resistance, HP. Crit rate, HP. That's not even worth putting on anyone. So, we've got an HT, HP percent 5. And HP percent 5. So we're looking at the uh, between those two runes. They're both 5 star. They both give the same amount of speed. Both give the same amount of HP. What's the next thing we're going to look for? As far as giants goes, we're going to look for HP and speed. That's really about it. Because he doesn't, I mean, the debuffs are going to land anyway, and your better most should be fast enough to solo cleanse. We're talking like that's why we want a minimum of 180 speed. So, next thing we're going to go for is resistance because of dragons. Resistance 5%, resistance 11%. It's been decided. We don't want to that one. Because Veramos is your solo cleanser, he is the more important than Bella. Bella's got more utility, but, but Veramos is going to keep you alive in both of them, because he's going to remove the defense break and the attack break from giants, and he's going to remove the dots from dragons. Super important to have a speedy Veramos. Now, let's look at the four stat. Crit rate, nope. Four, four star HP percent? Nope. Six star HP percent? Ooh, what is this? And we've got an 11 percent speed buff with, ooh, that's tasty. So, that's, that's definitely in high consideration because of that massive HP percent and the speed. Accuracy and defense on an attack percent, not what we're looking for. Defense percent, not what we're looking for. Nope. Nope. Alright, so. We've only got one HP percent, we want to throw that on there. And it's not a bad rune either, because of that speed substat. So now we're going to go for six. We already looked through six, and we don't have an HP percent. What are we looking for? Speed, HP. Next thing we're going to go to is our energy runes. Can we find a good HP percent rune in here? I think that was actually the rune that was on Baramus. Or on uh, Tashar. Hey. HP, uh, defense, hmm. HP, speed, defense percent, not bad. Hmm. Accuracy plus 12, speed, crit rate, speed plus 8, defense percent. Do we want to up his defense or do we want to up his accuracy? I'm going to say accuracy because of the dots. Alright, so we've got our 2, 4, and 6. Next thing we need to look for. Actually, I didn't even look at the energy. Two slots. I think I had a speed room. We want him from here. Ah, 
high. So this one's actually slightly better because it's got an attack percent and it's got a higher uh, HP percent. So I'm going to take this off. Put that on there. Alright, so we've got our energy set. Because this one just had, it had a higher HP percent. It's more useful. So back to Swift. We're going to go with our one slot. Speed plus 15. HP plus 5. Crit rate and 6. Ooh, that looks good. HP, crit rate, crit damage, accuracy. It's not bad. Crit damage and speed. We don't want crit damage. Let's see. This is just... Okay, so that's got actually got a fair amount of the stats that we're looking for. But we want to try and get a higher HP percent. Whew. That HP plus 19%. I am loving that on a 6 star ring. Speed, crit damage, attack, and HP. Another possibility. Resistance plus 8 and speed plus 17. This is going to be the room that ends up winning the battle because of that super high speed for a plus seven room. Granted, we'll get we'll level that up and we'll get other stuff substats. Actually, I kind of want to do that now. Let's see what it's going to roll to on plus nine. Between these two, the one that's going to be end up being better for Veramos is it speed or is it HP? Well, we've got the energy set on there as speed, HP, HP. He's got a lot of HP percent, especially considering that this is a five star and this one's a six star. So, having the speed on there is going to be slightly more important. Because we want, we want him to cleanse first. We want him to cleanse before anyone else goes. Speed, 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 speed. We're already at 1 plus 164. And we're at 19,000 HP. Before we've put our plus our 5 slot ring on there. Okay. Now, let's look at our 3 slots. And speed, HP, percent on a plus 9. Not super high rolls, not crazy about it. Accuracy, speed, crit damage... Not too crazy about it because there's no HP or defense. Seventeen percent accuracy. What's our accuracy at? Thirty-seven. All right, so we need about another, give or take thirty percent. No, dragons was forty. I think dragons is forty-five percent. Speed, HP, crit damage. It's plus six. It'll power up. Hmm. That, nope. Inside. Defense, speed, crit damage, accuracy. Hmm. But we're not getting. So I'm probably gonna end up throwing this on there because of the speed and the HP percent and the accuracy. That accuracy should finish him off. Actually, yeah, fifty percent accuracy. That's over forty-five. I think forty-five is the cap for dragons. And giants. Hmm. And a defense plus 23%. That's actually a pretty good burn. HP plus 21%. Accuracy plus 14. It's pretty good. HP plus 12. Can we get an HP percent? No, it doesn't look like we can out of what we got. So. What I'm going to do is, considering he's already really tanky, I'm probably going to end up 
worth throwing this one on there because it's got an HP percent and an attack percent and it's got a little bit of resistance whereas this one doesn't have the resistance even if it's only 5% every little bit counts it's a resistance 39% not super crazy but we're 22,000 and it's about, running about 200 speed that, two, that almost 200 speed super important and I don't have max towers on this account. I think I've upgraded my speed tower. Like, I think I just actually got the level one. I don't know. Like I said, this one's new. So second, we're gonna go for Bella. Bella is another support type with an attack break, a strip, and a heal. So we want to build him tanky. Number one, we want him tanky. So we're gonna go either speed HP HP or speed defense HP or speed HP defense, whichever we can get to float the boat. And we want to focus a lot higher accuracy because we need that first and second skill both to land. Let's come up to our twos. We need some speed. Defense and HP. It's alright, that's not a bad burn. It's attack percent crit damage. We're not looking for that on a support type. Resistance crit rate, defense crit damage. Not looking for it. Resistance, crit damage, accuracy, crit rate, and HP. That's a possibility. And an attack percent. Nope. It's between this one and this one. Now, Bella is one of the monsters that's going to be targeted a lot. So we want him to have high HP, high defense after we've got the accuracy settled. So I'm going to go with that. Since we don't have any runes that fit the first priority, we're going to shoot for the second and the third. Our two slot, actually, while that's there, we can compare it to any energy runes, because again, we want them to be as tanky as possible. Do we have any more speed runes for energy? We do. Alright, so this one's got accuracy, 10%. This one doesn't have accuracy, but it's got a lot of HP. HP, speed. This one's not going to work out, so we don't really have anything that's too much better than this speed right here. Now we're looking for HP or defense. So it's got eight, an attack with defense plus 37. So we got a little bit of speed. It's got HP. It's not too bad. Four slot HP room. Don't need it. Don't need it. Ooh, accuracy and speed. So it's, and resistance. So it's got three out of the four things. So we're well, three out of the five things, four out of the five things we're looking for. Defense, accuracy, speed, resistance. Defense with a super high HP percent. It's got attack damage and crit rate. So that, I'd put more on like a tanky bruiser. Let's take a look at our, our energy runs and see if there's anything we can best. That other one. Defense with speed and crit damage. Nope. HP with accuracy, crit rate, crit damage, and speed. It's got 3 out of 5, not quite as good. Crit damage and accuracy, that's a lot of accuracy though. That is a lot of accuracy to throw on there. But, no tankiness. So, this is where you kind of have to get really picky about your runes, because you want to try and fit as best as possible probably going to end up throwing this on there because it's got accuracy, it's got a lot of speed and resistance. Okay. So we've got the defense. Now we need to go look at our, our HP for our, our six slot. It has to be HP because we've already used our defense. We've got this. Got crit rate, crit damage, resistance. No. Accuracy, attack percent. Speed. It's got, two out, it's got three out of the four things. Speed and resistance. No. Attack percent, not looking at it. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Alright, so none of those runes fit. Not well. Attack percent, attack. HP percent with a flat defense and a flat HP. Nope. Ooh, what do we have here? HP plus 40%. We got plus 8 speed and 13 defense. It's actually better than some of the other runes we've come across. So I'm going to throw that on there. Alright, so now 
We need to find the best possible match for that energy ring. So we've already decided we're using one of them for our sixth slot. Let's see. One. Crit rate HP. We don't need crit rate. We don't need crit damage. Don't need crit rate. Ooh, it's got accuracy and HP. Not bad. That's a possibility. No resistance. Okay. We want to try and shoot for higher than a 17% HP reroll. HP plus 8, defense 14, nope. Nope, no HP. HP plus 18 defense. Okay, so that's got accuracy, 10% defense, and 18% HP. If we can find something that's got higher than 18% HP, that's the energy room that we're going for. So we want to shoot for numbers. Speed plus 17, not quite, although that speed rune is pretty tempting too. Speed plus 13, we're trying to beat 18. Nope, nope. Nope, definitely not. Alright, so, for now, I'm gonna go, where's that H, we're gonna go with this one, because it's got a really high HP and defense, it's got some accuracy on it. people you're doing stuff and then don't quite see to care. So, alright. So now we've got our energy set. Let's see what else we can find on our five slot. It's got an HP percent. Ooh, look at you. That 14% accuracy, 21% HP, and a little bit of resistance. I think we've got a winner for that. But let's check just to be sure that there's not any something that's better than that. It's got to be 14% HP, or 14% accuracy and 21% HP. Let's see, no, no, no. Now we already have our energy set, so that rune's going to be going on Bella, because Bella and Vero are pretty much your two primary monsters. They're going to get you through the first two dungeons, GB10 and EB10. The last one here, that's speed plus 15. That's a pretty nice stat. Where are we sitting at on accuracy? We need 20% accuracy, and we need more speed. We need more speed anyway from completing this set. So we want to try and shoot for a good bit more accuracy. <laughs> Not even on one slot. Accuracy plus 5. Good damage. Nope. Nope. Distance. Hmm. Distance and attack. HP. Ooh, that might be a nice room to throw on there because that HP stuff. Speed, HP, crit rate. Mm. What we can also do is we can check energy. We can see if we've got a really high accuracy. I don't remember what we had. It's plus six. That's probably not going up. actually kind of a hard decision. It's a lot of defense though. It's oh, such a tough call. I think I'm gonna have to go with this one, even though I don't really want to because it's got two stats three sets we don't need on Bella.
actually kind of a tough call there. And speed and crit rate accuracy. We can always talk about it later. If you're looking at 30% accuracy when the cap is 45. 2300, just about 2300 HP, and over 1300 defense on 183 speed. You can tolerate that. Alright, next. Alright, we got a lad reel. So, this is specific to my Giants team comp. Normally, you got Shannon. You want to focus on Shannon's defense over her HP, although you fo you can't you want to do both because her defense scales a lot better than her HP does. But Eladriel is kind of the same way, and he's going to be ruined a very similar way. Now I already know that as a support, they're there to heal, debuff, or strip or buff your team. It's the four roles of the support. What we've got in the Ladriel isn't too much different from Shannon. Well, actually, I, I take that back. It's a lot different than Shannon. They're both there to support the team. So we want to have a lot of HP and a lot of defense. And if you can get him... If you, a Ladriel, if you can get him tanky enough, you don't even need to care about what quality runes he's got. Ow, I'm lagging a bit. I had him on guard. Which guard runes are going to be best though? Like that 11% accuracy. There's a lot of what he's used for also is, rune is stripping buffs. She plus 6, defense plus 4, speed plus 5, accuracy plus 10. I'm going to go with this one for the second. I'll go with this one for the second run. Now, I want to fill the others up. This is already going to have... I mean, he's already got stupidly good HP, 2300,000 HP with three runes that are two HP percent runes. So, let's see just how far we can push a lad reel. Hmm. Accuracy and HP, both good stats. Great accuracy. I'm going to throw this one on there. Again, because we're, we're trying to get the HP up as high as possible with his revive. And we want to shoot for accuracy as the second stat for his first skill. We got 4% accuracy there. Let's see if we can get a high accuracy reroll off of a plus 6 in him. Plus 6 in this run. Because that's a huge HP run right there. And he can revive Tashar, which is the whole reason he's there, is to revive Tashar. I don't have a Ladriel on my Giants team for any other reason. Just run it, no defense buff, bam, straight face comp, as much damage as possible. Whew, and we have a winner. Plus 15 accuracy. Alright, HP percent run. That's definitely going on there. Now, let's see what we got for our three slot. I know I did that kind of out of order, but... Yeah. What's our accuracy at? 48% accuracy. So we've broken the cap. We don't need to focus on accuracy anymore. It's back to HP and defense. So what can we shoot for? HP plus 8 plus 14. So we want to shoot for higher than a plus 8 or a 14. Not, not it. What we're looking for, we've already got done the HP, 12% defense, no HP, and last room, speed plus 17, HP plus 5, accuracy plus 5, nope, so we're going with that first one, defense increase and HP increase. <coughs> mm. 
bless me. It's all Andreal's rank now. And without... We're at 34,000 HP. And 1,065 defense. On a super tanky monster. And this one's a plus 6 rank. Like, his HP is going to go exponentially higher. As we... As I keep rolling this higher and higher, which I'll do later. And there's one more monster that I had for my giant's comp, and that was Bernard. So we've, we've, of course, we're gonna go swift. Let's check all of our our two slots, see which is the best speed burn. Because all we need him there to do is be tanky and buff the attack bar. Doesn't need to do anything else. He's got a defense plus four. HP plus 5 and accuracy and resistance. That's actually a pretty good burn. And that's the end of the speed. Yeah. And the next one we're going to look for is HP. So let's see what, what speed do we have. Accuracy, flat stats, not interesting. Accuracy, no tankiness. Alright, so we're going to go with that swift burn. best we can do for now. And him, we want to focus speed, speed, speed. If it doesn't have speed on it, it's useless. No matter what else the stat, what other stats are on there. The only concern you want to have with Bernard is speed and HP. And look at our energy runes. Not important. Speed plus 10. It's not bad. Do we have a higher speed roll? No, we don't. Good. Excuse me. So we're going to throw that on there. I need an HP Swift slip right here. So like, we still want him to stay as tanky as possible. Speed plus 8. Plus three and no speed stats. So we're gonna go over here. The speed plus eight. Throw that on him. And we're already looking at plus forty-seven speed without a, without a complete swift set. So now we've got our two four six in place. We want to focus on that other energy rune. Try and keep them balanced off. And speed. Speed. Plus four. Plus five. Alright. Plus eight. Plus six. It's actually a really good burn. That's seventeen. That's the one that's going on. It's got a little bit of HP as well, and a little bit of accuracy. Uh, so where's our speed at? 164 before completing the swift set. Now if we do this right, he should have a little bit over 200. Alright, so let's actually get our 5 slot out of the way because we have the fewest amount of those to look through. Resistance, defense, defense, and eh, eh. HP plus 4. Accuracy plus 12. Defense plus 23. Resistance plus 4. So it's between a plus 23 defense and a plus 12 accuracy and 4% HP. So I'm probably going to end up going with the defense. So looking at a close to 1,000 defense, 13,000 HP. And seven one thousand or one hundred and seventy five. Now we need to try and find the HP. HP plus five. Mediocre. HP plus five. Speed plus three. HP plus nine. It's a four star. Or four star. Ooh, big money, big money. 
There's our HP, HP percent. So, in doing this, we've broken 15,000 HP, well over, we've broken 1,000 defense, and we've already broken two, and we've broken 200 speed. Not wrong, 103 should be faster than Pharaoh, 192 versus 203 speed. So Bernard's gonna go first, then Vero, then Bella, so far. Aladro going last. And the last monster that I have in my GP10 comp. Oh, that was actually the entire comp. Alright, now it's time to go out and go test. Giants B10. I'm gonna run with Vero lead, just because that's the safe route to go. Hello to show her. And so let's see how well this goes. Because you want to keep in mind that you want to have your team comps dead set, and Vero and Bella are in both your Giants and Dragons team comps, so you want to prioritize those two monsters if you're running them in your comp at all. So, uh, I don't need a four star indoor room, I just need my monsters to look. So let's see. Alright, it's already focused on one of the crystals. Tashar took a good hit, so that's not surprising. Tashar's dealing a good bit of damage for the runs that I've got. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, no reset. I was gonna. I. Okay. Yeah, I love it. Rage runs all three star flight stats. That's amazing. Wait, which ninja is this? Is five or six star that? Always grant your guilt based on stuff. It's it's just kindness. Whatever the that means. Congrats, grads. My friend, grads, grads. Skip. Now it's the real test. Can we beat the GB10 boss? That's how we've re ruined our moms. I mean, I did actually switch out a few from what I originally had. So there were, we'll see if there's some slight improvements that were made. Ladriel stood the strip. And that was pretty, that was a pretty solid run. All in all. 
Steel Ledger, I could probably solo the GB10 boss. <laughs> but, uh, that's not my business. Alright, so, yeah, it gives you resistance defense. I'll keep that and see where it goes. Oh, I'm maybe not, I, I'm not paying enough attention. Alright, so, that's the essentials for running. You've got your barrel. You want speed HP, HP, as much HP as possible, and as much accuracy as possible. Speed, 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 speed. You got your bell at the same thing. Speed, 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 speed. I can't anguish. Followed by accuracy, HP, defense. With your support that's like Shannon or whatever's in the place of Shannon, you want to have her... You, you want some speed on Shannon to keep up with everyone for her buff, but at the same time, she really needs to be pretty dang tanky. You need some really good runes for Shannon to make her work. Um, Eladriel, I mean, with the runes that I've already farmed, I did. I just kind of threw stuff on him. I wasn't paying 100% attention like I probably should have. And he's got 34,000 HP. <laughs> That's higher than it was. It was, like, I think I'd just broken 30,000 HP beforehand. And 48% accuracy. So he's pr now my primary stripper. Your damage dealer, as much damage as possible. We have no ifs, ands, or buts. Damage, damage, damage. Boom, boom, boom. Pow, pow, pow. Kill, kill, kill. Um, I know I should throw blade runes on there. But 47. I know it could be 59%. I don't have... I think actually that was the room that was on him before. But this one's just... No, no it wasn't. It wasn't the room that was on him before. It was at plus 15, the rooms that were on Tashar. This one was different, I know that. This room was on there, so that's that's an improvement on Tashar. Alright, so that's more or less everything that goes along with a giant's V10 rune, runing. And if there's any questions, comments, or concerns about anything that I did through this video, or if you got questions on your own monsters that you plan on using in GB10, by all means, feel free to comment down below. Have a good one, guys.